Springs, and we'd just like to thank Theater Works for inviting us and for taking such good care of us. <sighs> well, before we get going, I'd like to ask if anyone has a prayer request. Oh, a prayer request is basically a request that everyone here pray for an issue you may be struggling with. Church is a church service. So it has a lot of the things that people will be used to seeing in a church service. It has singing and dancing, testimonials, prayers, uh, sermons, prayer requests. It was inspired by a playwright named Young Jean Lee. She is Korean American. She moved to the United States when she was uh, five years, or when she was two years old. She um, came because her parents were converted by missionaries, and that missionary helped them come to the United States. She was a Christian up until she was about eight years old, and then she stopped believing. And she was inspired to write a play about what does it mean to be a believer, and to look at it through the lens of, a, of herself, which is a left-wing liberal atheist. Her parents are wonderful people, and she discovered that perhaps uh, Christians get a bad rap. So in her exploration of what it means to be a believer, she tests the beliefs of not only the non-religious, but of the religious too. Hi, I'm Reverend Mayer, and actually I have a prayer request. Uh, Ever since I took on the role of tour manager, I've been experiencing a lot of stress. <laughs> uh, I've been working 16 hour days for weeks on end. My email inbox is constantly full. I think there is the potential in, in just seeing the uh, title of the play, Church, of um, concluding either um, for somebody who is a, a devout believer with, um, you know, their, their own uh, firm set of beliefs, um, thinking that this is going to be um, a mockery, you know. Um, uh, and on the flip side, for uh, non-believers um, to think that it's going to uh, uh, be a recruitment <laughs> <laughs> um, piece. And, and, and neither one is true. Um, uh, what I really appreciate about this piece is um, how complex it is and uh, uh, that I think it's really edifying, whether you're a believer or uh, an atheist, um, that on either side there's going to be um, something for you to um, uh, really ponder to, to, mm. to your your belief structure will be called into question no matter what it is and elements of it will be reinforced no matter what it is um, so I think it's a um, I think it helps if you like intellectual inquiry and introspection but I, I don't think even that's necessary and heck it's 60 minutes long <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's lemonade after <laughs> Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. If you have a brain in your head, which every theater works audience member does, uh, you're going to think about this piece. And, that, and, and while, while I sometimes hesitate to say that because people are like, eh, I want to be entertained, Thinking's good, and this play is—it feels good to think through this play. And uh, and if you don't want to think, there's there's less lemonade, and there's there's singing and dancing <laughs> and things like that. But I think everyone's going to leave this play and want to talk about it for a while. And that's what I love in the theater. Sure, I love the dessert pieces, you know, the the fluffy farcical comedies that we do here as well. But you can, this one's a main course. This, there's some meat to it. There's some stuff to think about. When I was growing up, my family used to go to an evangelical church in an abandoned furniture store. It was uh, the kind of church where no one dressed up and we all sat in metal folding chairs. There wasn't even a piano, just an electronic keyboard that was played by the local photographer. And the song leader led all the songs like this. 
<laughs> I vowed to turn my back on Christianity the moment I left home. And I did. I like plays that explore the topics that you're not supposed to talk about at Thanksgiving. And, you know, like politics or money or religion. And this is certainly a play that gets people to question their own belief systems. And I think sometimes the best theater is theater that helps us understand what it means to be a human being on this planet. And church certainly does that. God can help. I'm not going to stand here and, and tell you that God exists. I don't know that God exists any more than I know that God doesn't exist. The fact is, the world is a mystery. But I am telling you that I believe in God with an absolute certainty that comes from faith. The fact that Young Jean Lee, who is one of the preeminent up-and-coming, uh, whatever publication said, she's one of the 25 up-and-coming theater stars in this country, it, it, that we're producing a show of hers, she's coming here to see it, to talk to the audience, mm -hmm. to talk to the actors, it's really cool. And, um, and I hope that the fact that it, it, we have this almost partnership with, with this wonderful woman from New York City um, is really exciting. But I want to tell you that there is a door. I, I know you're caged right now and that escape feels impossible, but there is a shining door that is waiting for you and that door leads to God. This is a highly entertaining show. It's filled with a lot of charm and a lot of heart. It is a play that will definitely make you think this is a play where perhaps the second act will happen on the way home as you discuss it with the people that you went with or as you go out to eat afterwards. And probably a play that will have you think about it several weeks later. And I was in my bathrobe. And then I smoked some pot. And then I found some prostitutes and did sin with them. And then I found some pipes and banged the prostitutes on the head and it was good. And then I wandered through the gutter and found some chickens lying around. And I stuck the pipes right through them so that the blood gushed upwards like a fountain. And I stuck my mouth over the pipes so that the blood gushed upwards into my mouth and lifted me up into the sky. And I was raised about 10 feet in the air on this gushing tower of chicken blood and I didn't care. I was floating and free. There are several very fun surprises in this church service that I do not want to reveal. However, just to sort of tantalize people that um, they will see things in this church service that they have never seen before. And I hope that when they leave, that, that they are uplifted and celebratory. The love of Jesus is a little baby goat that kisses you and eat sand from your hands. And the reason why I feed it sand is that sand is, is warm and golden and touched by the sun. And little baby goats like to eat things like tin cans. And what I want to tell you about Jesus today is that Jesus did not have a beard. Jesus did not wear sandals. Jesus was a bright star that was shot out of the firmosphere straight from the molten heart of the Lord God Almighty. And that baby shining star grew up to be a man, a great man. Oh, la, 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 la.